Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. I think everyone has a God-given right to buy a firearm to protect you and your family. Like, mm -hmm. there's no question. I don't even think there should be a freaking background check system. The NRA caved on that in 94. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess it doesn't what, make any – what difference does it make? Right. You're seeing it right now that, yeah. that government isn't even – during times of emergencies, government isn't evil – isn't evil. Um, they are evil. Mm -hmm. But they're not even able to staff the background check system. So people are being denied you know, the ability to purchase a firearm. So it's like in good faith, they go to the gun store, fill out the paperwork, and then government is unable to provide the service – that they said they're going to be able to provide. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's this unreal thing where what if you're a guy that's never been into guns before and you want to go out and buy a gun? Now you can't, mm -hmm. even though you've gone through the steps. You have the capital to do it. Mm -hmm. You have the money to do it. You have the desire to do it. The gun store owner wants to sell it to you, but it's the failure of government. So we have this third-party failure, this third-party transaction that has failed to uphold its end of the bargain. And I think if you're going to find throughout history, government has failed to live up to its end of the bargain over and over and over again mm -hmm. to the point where I'm really contemplating – I mean I don't know if I can send my income tax in next year. You know, I mean because if they're not going to provide normal functions, which is protecting other people's liberty and lives, mm -hmm. why should we continue funding them? Mm -hmm. You know, how else are they going to get money other than make it up? I mean, this is the crazy. Yep. Once we got into the system in America where um, this is just I'm, I'm obviously not a history teacher like you are or were. Right. Uh, you still are. You're still teaching people history. Let's be honest. About more. It. I teach yeah. more people history now than I did in high school, college. Yeah. yeah. You're always teaching me stuff. But there was a time when so people got all their money, did what they needed to do with their money, and then they had to give it, give it to the government. Right. And then one day they were like, wait a second, if we do, if, if we, this method allows people to have their money and do whatever, and then we don't get it, which is actually good. That's the whole point, right? So they decided to take it out of people's uh, paychecks, so the people who are getting paid on a regular basis, it comes out. And then you have to fight with the government to get your money back from them, right? <laughs> it's a, yeah, and you can, you can see that our um... – adventurism overseas especially in europe and, mm -hmm. and post world war one and post world war two our adventurism directly coincides with the income tax the, mm -hmm. the income tax was written you know the 16th amendment 1913 in conjunction with the federal reserve act mm -hmm. um it's this amazing thing that that people need to understand that <laughs> it was originally sold as only affecting the wealthy you know, mm -hmm. this will only affect the top 1% of 1% of, er of wage earners. And we're only here to tax the really rich people like the Rockefellers mm -hmm. and the Vanderbilts and and the Carnegies. You know, the government was, never this... sees their money. Never. Yeah, never ever see all, that money. It, 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 was, it was all about like – it was all about like envy and mm -hmm. covetousness. That's and, how you they know, convince you. They convince you that the it's not – rich guy pay. Yeah, it's you not know, you. It's, it's your neighbor. Yeah. No, it will never affect you. And, yeah. and, and so then once they get their toenail in mm – -hmm. see, once they get their toenail in the door, you already got an eight deep home invasion about to happen to you. Mm -hmm. So I don't entertain any of their BS rhetoric. I don't, and I don't care who's in charge, whether it's Republican or Democrat. I don't entertain them. They don't give a crap about you. And I don't care how funny or how awesome rallies they have, or what they promise their little like lower echelon of society, how freebies they they promise them. I don't listen to them because my heroes, all of them are dead and gone, man. Mm -hmm. You know, all the people that built this country, that fought on battlefields, that fought against tyranny, like every single one of my heroes is gone. Mm -hmm. You know, when when you when you look at like when you look at this society, I mean, I, I did a video I just released it this morning. Um, you know, if, if these idiots in, in Washington, D.C., whether they be Republican, Democrat, I don't give a crap. If they would have brought these ideas up bef before, like Thomas Jefferson or Benjamin Franklin, like they would have been laughed out of the halls of Congress. Like they would have literally been, like and not just laughed. I, I think they would have probably been incarcerated for mm -hmm. violation of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And so like you get guys out there that are just this. It, it's amazing thing. I, I go to work. You know, I work hard. You know, I maintain my property. I teach. You know, I've sacrificed a lot for this country. I've sacrificed personal time and energy and all this. And as have everybody, I'm sure a lot of the guys watching, gals mm -hmm. watch this, the podcast. Um, I, I think we realize that the answer isn't just 
voting your guy into office. I mean, with, with this guy in office right now, we've got gun control. We've got deficit spending every single year to a trillion plus dollars. Now we're at a $2.2 trillion stimulus, which is 100% more than Barack Obama did in 2009. Mm -hmm. uh, and by the way, and not just in that $2.2 trillion, there's an additional $5 trillion in loans authorized. Yeah, for and, we, and we have everything at a standstill. Oh, nothing. You, we you have want to everything at a standstill from a guy who, like you said, is supposed to understand business. If you understand business, why why is everything at a standstill? This cannot continue. Maybe some big businesses will make it through this. Of course, if they get if they get bailed out, they get money. They're going to make it through it. What about the little businesses? Like what about my uh, barber shop that's literally downstairs from this building that he was forced? He cannot cut anyone's hair. He cannot do it. Well, you got you got your uh, you got your truckers. You know, these are all professions I respect. You got your mm -hmm. truckers. You got your service industry, like your waitresses, mm -hmm. waiters. Uh, you've got your 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 master chefs. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got your people that that go out and teach people. Uh, you you've got your auto mechanics. Mm -hmm. You've got your. I mean, th there's so many professions mm -hmm. that I respect. Mm -hmm. Look at me. I mean, I employ five people, right? Mm -hmm. So. I employ five people. If it if it would be up, if I lived in a leftist state, and thank God I don't, I live in Tennessee, mm -hmm. but if I lived in a leftist state, they would say, nope, you can't conduct classes. You can't do it. You can't bring people from all over the country. That would be five people that can't provide for their family. Mm -hmm. And some people really need it, Hank. Mm -hmm. I've, I've got a guy. Oh, I know. You know I've got mm -hmm. a guy who's out of work. He's mm -hmm. got a wife and two kids. Um, he, he, he really, you know, has told, and, and it's, it's, it's amazing how important that we all are to other people, but it's like, I don't, I'm not in business, you know, I'm not in business to be this guy that is a laundromat for money. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a guy that's, that's here to make money so that I can provide jobs to other mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and, and there's a lot of people in that situation, right? There's a lot of people in that situation, but if it gets to the point where, they're like, okay, well, you can't make any money, Reed. You know, you got to kick more money upstairs. And by the way, we're raiding your IRA, and we're raiding your, uh, you know, your SEP, and we're raiding your, uh, your uh, income tax. And and by the way, we're gonna we're gonna jack that. And by the way, I get self-employment tax, so they're gonna jack my self-employment tax up to 75 percent. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna teach classes by myself. Mm -hmm. And I really don't yeah. want to do that yeah. at all. I want to have two or three other guys on the line with me mm -hmm. because I know that what I do, I kick a little to them so that they can have a better life. Yeah. And it, you know? it, 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 that goes all around, right? It makes it easier for you, makes it easier for them, makes it easier for your students. I mean, one thing is that I guess um, uh, Homeland Security came out and declared that the industry, trainers like yourself, uh, uh, manufacturers, etc., cetera, are uh, essential <laughs> essential people it um, takes a crisis it, ca it takes a crisis to figure out that people like like me are essential that gun owners yeah. are essential that ranges are it takes it takes this to figure that out yeah. i'm pretty sure that was written in 1789 yeah <laughs> and here's the thing definitely all of these people who are out there new people but because I, I know what you're going to say but you know we all need to be training yes that's true I'm sure you're going to I'll I'll let you say that but these there's a lot of new people coming online with guns with firearms right and they yeah. definitely need some training you know so oh, it looks like you got it you got a guy special what's up this is my this is my buddy Tyler man he's helped me out on the range as well and he's one of those guys I'm telling you about mm -hmm. he's he's a guy that that you know he looks at this profession he looks at this industry as being essential not because the president or, or Congress and anybody said so, but because he recognizes the importance of getting this information out. You can say hi, man. Yeah. <laughs> what's up, Tyler? <laughs> Shout out to all the people out there. If there's he anyone out up. there that knows Tyler, say what's up to him. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. He, it's, what I'm saying is that he's a former Marine right here, you know. Okay, um, awesome. Semper Fi. You know, Semper Fi, man. And, you know, he's one of these guys that, that recognizes giving back to the country. But but if it was up to the government, if it was up to people like Nancy Pelosi or if it was up to people like uh, uh, any other, other scumbag rhino Republicans, this guy here wouldn't be having a he, he wouldn't he wouldn't be able to help me. He'd be he'd be in his house, you know, scared to death and just kind of like, you know, quivering in the fetal position. And that's mm -hmm. not what we need right now. Yeah, man. I don't envision a lot of Marines ever uh, quivering in that fetal position. I know, no. I know a few of them. Um, yeah. So let me ask you this question: Why is it even up to those guys? How come it's not up to us? Well, it is up to us, man. It's it's like you know, really, what what it is is like, how much are you willing to to put up with? You know, for me, if I see some like 
and pardon the language, guys, mm. like child alert here. You know, I normally don't <laughs> do it. But if I see some numb nuts Barty Fife, you know, telling me I can't conduct classes, okay, well, what are you going to do about it? Yeah. Are you going to force me to close down? Are you going to, like, are you going to draw your gun on me? Are you going to shoot me? Yeah. You know, uh, are, are, Reed, I would like to see someone even roll up on you in where you're at yeah. in the mountains. I'm not even sure how the hell that happens. Dude, it, 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 you know, it's it's one of these things where like, okay, I'm a nice dude, man. You know me, Hank. You know me mm -hmm. for like six, seven, almost eight years now, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm a nice dude, man. Like, I'm not, I'm not this person that goes out of my way to figure out trouble. You know, I'm not this guy that goes out of my way to cause conflict. But if you mess with my constitution, right, and you mess with – my Bill of Rights, and not just mine. I'm saying my, as in the the collective, all mm -hmm. of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you mess you mess with the um, with the ability to earn a living. You mess with the ability uh, to live your life according to free principles that our founders fought and died for. We're gonna have serious problems because you can pass all the laws you want to. The legislative branch can pass all the laws. Even the idiot idiotic judicial branch can say, "Well, you've got to conform to this." It's like Andrew Jackson said. The Chief Justice has issued his opinion. Now let's see him enforce it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.